Hey everybody, Dr. C here. It is Cinco de Mayo Day. Just wanted to uh, say hello to everyone and uh, talk just about uh, what's happening uh, in Franklin schools. Today, Dr. McCormick uh, kind of reiterated a few things. One is that June 30th is June 30th and uh, the facility issue keeps coming up. Can we be on our facilities? Can we not be on our facilities? And just so everybody knows that right now we are closed. Uh, until June 30th, or until the governor decides to lift that. Um, also today, we're starting to spend more time thinking about next year. Uh, there is a reentry uh, consortium that Dr. McCormick put together, and she has a list of recommendations for schools to ponder with regard to health and health safety. Um, they're not talking about actual education and curriculum because they, they think that we do a good job. Uh, across the state and doing that, but they are helping us think about health. And so one of the things that I'm going to start doing uh, after today's announcement uh, is posting on a parking lot a spot for you to ask questions about re-entry into schools. What do you think it should look like? Um, what are things that you're concerned about? One things, what are things you want us to think about as we get ready to launch back into school? Um, I'll have Robin send out that parking lot and you can respond back. It'll probably be in Google Docs so we can have a, a running uh, stream of ideas and we'll continue to answer those and think about those in our Six Sigma systemic thinking way of life. Today we had a meeting with FCTA and talked about the CARES Act and what can we do and I will tell you overwhelmingly uh, the response is we just need hands, hands to help in the classroom, hands to help kids, uh, hands to help uh, do all kinds of things that are going to be unexpected in the fall of 20 and the spring of 21. So we're going to write into our plan uh, that we have hands for classrooms, hands to be able to help um, in small group, hands to be held to, to, with some larger group things, with student behavior things. And so we'll look forward to putting together uh, our CARES Act grant, getting that submitted, and then beginning to think about uh, next school year. So I want to thank all the teachers that participated, and especially the FCTA leadership, uh, Tony, Will, and Carly, uh, seeking information, and all the building people. You did a great job, and, and just so appreciative of the, the great thinkers that we have in our district. Speaking of great thinkers, it's teacher appreciation. I hope that uh, everyone has been able to walk out to their front yard or side yard and seen the sign that says, we love our teachers, Franklin Community Schools, because it's true. And it's just one way that we can say thank you. Um, teachers, you are a very special group, and we want to just applaud you for what you're doing. Keep up the, the good work, and we'll look forward to uh, sharing uh, more stories about teacher, teacher appreciation. I know buildings are trying to do different things and are planning different activities. Uh, make sure you send us uh, notes when you get to do something in your building that's unexpected. Um, we'd like to hear about those. And with that, I'm going to wrap up today's uh, May 5th update. Um, we'll look forward to chatting tomorrow. It's Wednesday, one week before school's out, and uh, we'll see what's happening tomorrow. Oh, one thing that is happening, the senior parade is still on for June 23rd, and it looks like right now we're going to start at the fairgrounds for that as we move forward uh, for the seniors. One of the things that came up was with the facilities and using our facilities, and since June 30th continues to resonate, um, as the date that we need to make sure that we're doing nothing, um, that we're going to have that parade start at the fairgrounds. So if you have questions, reach out to me or Mr. Ahouse, and we'll look forward to celebrating our seniors uh, on May 23rd. Thanks, everyone, and have a great night.